Capable Maximum Loss, or PML, report evaluates a building's seismic risk and helps real estate investors, developers, property owners, and lending institutions understand potential losses in case of a seismic event. The PML is expressed as a percentage of the building's replacement cost and estimates the potential damage during a 475-year earthquake, the magnitude of which only occurs once every 475 years. The lower the percentage, the lower the expected damage. PMLs are particularly valuable in areas more prone to earthquakes, and they can be critical factors in the underwriting and property transaction process. The PML process, also known as a seismic damageability assessment, includes two main components. The inspection and documents review identify local soil conditions and local seismic activity, as well as the building type and construction, including critical connections, foundation, frame, and lateral load resisting systems. Records reviewed may include structural drawings, seismic maps and tables, and soil maps and data. The information gathered from the site inspection and records review is used to calculate the PML, which is derived from three primary variables. Ground acceleration, or how hard the earth shakes in a given area, how a building is constructed, and how soil will move during an earthquake. The PML report presents site characteristics, data gathered, and the engineer's math and assumptions. The PML is an estimate. Because damage can vary even between identical buildings, the report should present two numbers. The Scenario Expected Limit, SEL, which is the expected average damage, and the Scenario Upper Limit, SUL, which is a higher, more conservative estimate of the damage. A PML above 20% is typically considered failing, though this cutoff number can vary depending on the client and risk tolerance. Buildings can fail for several reasons, including tuck under parking that cannot bear lateral loads or unreinforced masonry. High numbers should be explained in the report so that retrofitting or other remedies can be performed. PML reports can vary widely because engineers may use different standards or calculations and make different judgments. To deliver more consistent, transparent, and comparable reports, Partner Engineering and Science follows standardized procedures based on expert opinions and widely accepted formulas. Partner Engineering and Science is an authority in PMLs, and our engineers are industry educators in this field. We are ready to answer your questions and guide you through the entire process. For more information, please give us a call at 1-800-419-4923 or visit our website, partneresi.com.